ladies and gentlemen, fellow Sea-Doo sport boat owners, we are working on the steering linkage for a 2012 Sea-Doo 230 SP with approximately uh, 500 hours on it. I have the boat outside today to do the repairs. You can see I have extensive rust damage. Um, I mean, there's <laughs> new uh, layers of material forming that you know aren't even supposed to exist there's just a two-piece casing and here I have a third piece coming out from who knows where um, you can start to see some of the slide exposed from uh, removing the uh, the uh, slide or this linkage from the boat you can see that it's not symmetrical. There's two mounting points there, none here. So I had to tear it off because one bolt was stuck. It was not stuck because it was rusted. The bolts were steel or a better material than this was. The issue came from uh, the space. Very difficult and challenging space. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and uh, clear everything out of there because if yours is in the shape that mine is in, holy smokes, check out this uh, debris here. Uh, let me just bang on it more. I mean, it's already a damaged piece, so let's see. Uh, actually, I just freed it up. <laughs> so maybe if you're not wanting to buy one of these, just bang on it. I, I got all the rust out of it, but just look at you know what's left material wise that's look at all the crap that's coming out of there so that gets stuck inside of your gear track and stops you from moving so now this is probably going to work just fine if i didn't bend it I have a slight bend in there to get it out you can see a lot of the material i want to go to the new one obviously i still have it wrapped and covered up i'm going to go ahead and install this i already measured the length to get this out you see this uh, uh, wire protector here? So this wire sheathing. The, uh, man, look at this. I didn't even notice this is a brand new piece. I already got some damage here. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. I'll inspect the whole thing. I got this from um, Partzilla. So let's take a look at the whole cord. I see some more chafing there. It looks fine. We'll go down to this end. As you can see here on the ground, they have the um, putty. So once you take the, uh, the uh, holding uh, nut and washers off, you're going to, one goes on one side, one goes on the other. Um, you're going to have to uh, fight a little bit to get the silicone free. And then you can start pulling the holes out. One of the challenges I had to pull in the holes out, as you can see, there's certain parts you're gonna wanna keep, like the rubber bushings and things like that. They're gone off of this one from pulling it through. Uh, from pulling it through, you can see the exposed uh, actual wire. So this plastic is a sheathing, and inside the plastic is wire that actually moves around. So uh, in the process of that, I yanked off the covering here and uh, I have no more uh, rubber cover. So I'm gonna have to go back inside the boat and get the pieces that I lost. I mean, there should be something here as well. So I didn't do myself any favors by uh, hastily pulling it out. There's also six. This is goes inside of, the, this goes inside of uh, the wire uh, sheathing and it has, it, it's a, um, what is that called? Is zip tied to the reverse throttle, uh, reverse cable as well. So when you're pulling this off, you are going to be sliding it down the reverse cable as you pull it out. So you're going to want to unclip all of those zip ties. Otherwise, you're going to run into a situation where you can't pull it through. So what I did was I tried to pull it through, it got stuck, and I'll show you what I pulled out. So here I pried open my cup holder, and I was able to see inside and right where the cup holder was, was all of the issues that I had. I'd say there was six or so uh, zip ties holding me up. 
Now that the zip ties are free, it came out piece of cake. I do have to go in there and I don't know, somehow try to find the pieces I lost. Not gonna be easy. I'll probably take the speaker out. I can take the throttle off to look in there. There might be a hole in there if I take that off. It might be too small. I also take the cup holders in the back off. I got a lot of work to do since I made a simple mistake or I can just look uh, under in here. It could have come off very early in, in the game if you wanna call it that. So um, I'll get to work on that, but those are some of the challenges you, you would face uh, removing the steering cable that does rust, so good luck.